Hello guys, how are you guys doing? Welcome back to another How To Slice video. In today's video, we're going to be taking a look at some awesome potion dice holders. So, let's go! Okay guys, so I just opened up the models right here in Bruza Slicer. So to, today, the tutorial is going to be really simple. We're going to start off with the monocolor um, models, then we're going to go to multicolor models. Okay, so let's do it. So I'm going to start off by saying that you can choose any of these models and all the instructions for this video apply to all of them, okay? So first off, let's take a look at all these models. So as you can see, there are a lot of meshes right here. To avoid stringing, we're going to start out by going to calibration. And you can see stringing is most caused by wrong temperature and retraction um, messed up okay but I see most people have a problem making sure that that their temperature is at the right um, value because if your temperature is too high it can um, provoke a lot of stringing okay so I'm gonna leave a retraction test to another video today we're gonna just just do a temperature test okay so right here, you're going to choose the filament that you're using. You, it might be PLA, okay? So you, you are gonna to, you're going to increase the temperature uh, by, by 5 degrees, okay? It's going to start at 190 um, degrees Celsius and go to 230 degrees Celsius. Okay, so I got the tower all prepped up. So let me just explain you what's going to happen. So you're going to print this first floor at 230 and it's going to vary by 5 degrees so it's going to lower that temperature after you print this tower you're going to take a look sometimes um, when the temperature is too high it will provoke stringing so you're going to take a look at each floor and you're going to choose the one that you find best that is more that doesn't have any stringing and this pyramid right here, this cone, it's perfectly printed, okay? If you print the tower, get the right temperature, and still get stringing with this model, it's recommended for you to do a retraction test that we're going to show in another video, okay? So after you choose a model, um, let's say you choose this one, you can print it perfectly fine without any support structure, okay? does not need support because it can do the overhangs and print it quite well you can choose the layer height that you want in this case i'm going to leave at 0.2 millimeters you can vary choose to gyroid or grid uh, feel free to choose the one you prefer and then you can slice so i just opened up the multicolored models Everything I said for the monocolors will apply to this one, this slicing, but we're, we're going to tweak and customize um, this model with a little bit of color. So first off, this model, it's going to purge um, tiny bits of filament. It's going to purge less times than the usual because this model, it's going to um, optimize the changes. So as you can see right here in beige, and it's going to turn to the green right here. It's just going to purge one time because it's not a really complex model. So I opened up these models on Bamboo Studio because I find it better to use the color features. Okay, so we're just going to take a look. This is the color, the colors that STL Flix recommends, but you don't have to follow strictly this color um choices as you can see right here you can choose right here in green let's choose another color so maybe we want yellow so you can choose right here yellow so you can visualize how it's gonna be sliced so you can choose in your ams the white color to be in the first slot let's go to the objects tab as we can see right here, the cap is green, right? 
let's change that. Um, let's say we want this part to be purple and this part to be beige, okay? Let's change it to beige. If we change it to beige, as you can see, the whole piece is beige, but that's not what we want. So we're going to click right here to color paint, okay? As you can see right here. And there's a lot of colors to choose from. If you select right here uh, purple, you can paint it purple. But I'm going to show you there's a lot of two types. This one is a circle. It's just going to paint the topmost surface. This sphere paints in a 3D uh, pen, okay? This is a triangular. It, it's going to um, see each triangle mesh of the file and paint it. This is height, so you can change it by height. We could change, we could paint this by height, but we're gonna do another way because there's some pieces that would be a different color that we want, okay? This is fill. Fill is really nice because it analyzes the angle of the piece and makes sure that we can um, color it a whole area of the model. So right here is set to 30, um, 30 degrees. As we can see, it's uh, selecting the whole piece. So let's reduce this. Let's reduce it more, more, more. Let's, let's go to four. As we can see, we could paint it like this because we want this area actually purple, right? So let's select purple. In these regions, we can select. But you, it's as you can see, it's not selecting perfectly. We want this whole selection purple. So let's try out um, 6.0. As you can see right here, it's selecting much better what's the topmost surface and what's the bottom uh, part, okay? As we can see right here, it's good, but there's some areas that are not good. So you can go to the sphere, <laughs> make sure the pen is, is bigger, and you can just give it a scrub right here to make sure the whole selection is <laughs> nice. After a few seconds of painting, I got it all ready, okay? So you can just click back to the color painting and go back and print and slice this project as you would. So this is a nice feature to have in Bamboo Slice. So the model is ready to print. Make sure you check our site, stlflix.com. We got a bunch of beautiful models there. So. Bye bye. I hope you guys enjoy it. Those slicing videos are an initiative from STL Academy, which is the educational project from STLflix. So if you guys want to learn more about 3D printing, you could check our description and look at STL Academy courses. And don't forget, see you guys at the next slicing.